be interesting. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Voxeltron and I'm here with one of my mates. Hello. What, what, what hark thou? What are you called? I'm, I'm, I'm Thomas. Mm -hmm. That's I, going well. I really don't have an online name. I, I've never done anything. So. Damn it. Anyway, so I'm here with Tom. And we're going to be really cynical for the next half an hour, then really happy for the next hour after that. <laughs> yeah, I can agree with that, to be honest. Yeah, because that, that's, that's what we're going to have to do. Because essentially, I, me and Tom decided that we wanted to do something on YouTube excitedly because things are coming up that we wanted to get involved with and oh and then a load of news came out about a game that we thought was kind of or that you, well you've played it and you thought was kind of broken and horrible and didn't work and then we the the hmm. developer pulled it said he was sorry yes yeah. this is this is of course FNAF world I've got I've got to put out something here saying thank you about to that because essentially what happened was that the game came out early, obviously, because it's Scott. <laughs> and then what happened was he decided to pull it like a week later. I obviously I obviously bought it, thought it was fairly average for an RPG, but it had a lot of problems. You'll probably see that later on, or you've probably seen that before now, because I probably posted it by then because I'm useless at posting things. But Don't we know? What? It's me! Come on! <laughs> uh, but, yeah, he then posted a thing online saying that he wasn't happy with how he was releasing, and then he pulled it, and then said he was going to release the updated version with all the fixes and patches and bug fixes for free on Game Jolt. And that's a breath of fresh air in this world, isn't it? Yeah, we, we to be honest, we were talking just, I think it was just before, um, FNAF World came out that um, the, the the whole of the, the gaming industry is going down the toilet at the moment. Well, you have things like Konami saying the words, oh, that's a nice multiplayer online game you've got there. Shame if something were to happen to it. And actually selling people insurance online for online multiplayer. Um, and then EA with the debacle of Star Wars Battle. <laughs> oh, that was um, so... That's uh, no, no, no proper release for it because I still prefer um, Battlefront One and Two. Battlefront Two is still the best Star Wars Battlefront to this day. Yeah, I think so too. I uh, mean, with with all the stuff that EA are pulling with that, the DLC, the the, the season pass, the game itself is still sixty what sixty dollars or forty quid. Something and like on that. top of that, if you want to pay another forty quid you can get DLC that's going to come out in the next two years. Two years! They're expecting this game to keep that sort of traction for two years. Yeah, and... Yeah, I understand the, the, where EA are coming from. It's like, they, they've never done a, anything to do with space-based, but they've done a lot of air-based stuff. Yeah, they've got Battlefield to work off of. This is... This is I'm pretty is sure it? Battlefield has had a aircraft combat before. Mm, yeah. They could have just... So, so, you use the same principles and engine and whatever and just put it in a different skybox yeah exactly Come on. Just it's not re hard retexture some of the planes and make them look like tie fighters and some of the retexture make them look like snow Excellent. speeders because the only maps at the moment that you can actually fly on i reckon are the hoth map yeah what maps are there there's like the battle of coruscant which was in both of the previous battlefronts i mean it's like you got at the moment you got um hoth um is it Dantooine? The they've new got planet? Jakku. I know that. Oh, Jakku then. It, they got they got Hoth, Jakku, and another one, which I think it's Bespin. Oh, but I'm not look. sure. No, 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 it's not Bespin. It's Saw. Oh, I don't know, but it's a really, really shitty grey planet. And mm -hmm. that's three maps for, yeah. 40, for 40 quid. That's like um, the standard now in a multiplayer-only game, because... Um, What's its name? Uh, Rainbow Six Siege released with three maps. Yeah, and it seems that in the past few years, yes, I understand that people are, are wanting games to come out faster, so it's taking... and um, It takes time to make the maps and make them at the quality that people want them to look. Yeah, fine, you can have really low-quality maps if you want hundreds of them. Fine. Mm. But if you want really high-quality, 
good looking, very balanced maps, you're going to spend about a year testing each map. Yeah, yeah. So well, it, but, but... it makes sense that they're, they're not spending massive amounts on making more and more maps for yeah, that release. Is... Yeah, that is true. But then, then you look at games like Team Fortress 2, which are free to play, and you see that all the map testing that's done behind that, the amount yeah. of effort put into that game. And but, just... but the thing, in, in that, you, how old is the game? <sighs> Came out, what, 2011? Actually, yeah. on its own? So, it's had five years of development, and so far, over that time, they've got, they've brought out maps steadily, haven't they? Yeah, they produced them out constantly, and yeah, they didn't all come out at release. They never, st they never stagnate. There was, there was five maps in the first release, and there was yeah. like a map, new map release, maybe every one or two months mm. from that point onwards. And well, you look at look at the Star look at the Star Wars DLC. There's going to be four DLC packets, essentially producing next, which is one of them is the Battle of Best Pin. One of them is the Death Star. One of them is something I can't remember off the he off the top of my head. I think it's on the clone planet. What's mm. its name? Camino. That's it. Camino, yeah. And one of them is to be confirmed or announced. Whatever the hell that means. That means the EA doesn't know what they were going to stick in that one. Yeah. And you look at the dates for these things, and you're thinking, I don't think you could play on just those the distinct lack of maps that you've got until then. It's so like the Death Star DLC. The De the Death Star. The map for the Death Star is coming out in 2017. Wow. The game came out, what, three or four months ago? Yeah. Just before so, Christmas, wasn't it? So, 18 months. Yeah. To get the Death Star in your game. Well, it, it, IGN, so one of the big news. Yeah. Um, <laughs> big gaming news people. Yes. Said there'd be 12 multiplayer maps when Battlefront releases, and the, the Battle of Jakku will add two more, which... Mm -hmm. uh, so... What are these 12 there, maps they're citing? Yeah. It's like Apparently they've Hoth. got Sullust, uh, Endor, Hoth, Tatooine. Um, we know that they now have the Battle of Jakku ones, Yeah. because the, the, the film has come out. Mm. Um, but the other one, and if unless there's multiple maps per planet, that's like four or five maps. I've uh, I only played it when it was in beta when they only gave us Hoth, so I have no idea what to go off <laughs> of that. And so, and it was a good, it was a good punchy, good nostalgia feel, but it just wasn't an FPS that was good enough. It wasn't Star Wars Battlefront. No. That, that's it, the whole thing that people had with it. It's not Star Wars Battlefront because you don't have the space and aerial combat. Well, it's not. Mm -hmm. Even the people that still play it now, people like it. And I won't... I'm not going to say it's not a good game. It's an excellent game. Yeah. It's just but not it what just people were feel hoping like for. Battlefront anymore mm. because it's not got those huge expansive maps with 64 players. Well, the it kind of, it's 20v20 at the moment, yeah. isn't it? But you, you used to be able to do 32 versus 32. Yeah. Yeah, it was a point. Yeah, that was... We probably had to have a dedicated server at And that was, with. what, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. That's what's sad. When when we look back a decade, and we still see things that are better features then than they are now. Not to mention the dickish DRM with Origin. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, that's another thing with the gaming community at the moment. Um, it, it's just all, you either always have to be online, there's stupidly restrictive DRM, or it's an indie game. And if it's an indie game, it's on Steam. Yeah, which is understandable, to be honest. Steam yeah. is a very easy way to publish something. You don't yeah, have to is. have the, the, the faff of um, trying to get someone to back your... Sorry, back your game with yeah. massive amounts of money. Publishing rights and all sorts. And you just publish it via yeah. Steam, yeah. Okay, Star Wars Battlefront came out in September 21st, 2004. Yeah, it was right. Yeah, so 10 <laughs> yeah. years ago. And the Battlefront 2 uh, was released in Europe 
on October 31st, 2005. So, yeah, yeah so go, go back 10 years. 10 years. Even now, there are people that run Battlefront 2. Yes, all the servers have been shut down. But, but there's people that still run servers for it. Yeah, because you, you could always locally host a server. Mm. They've just made it so... They've just uh, port forwarded them, simple done. Yeah, through... There's various um, apps that will let people see your port forwarded server. Yeah. And join it. So, it's a little complicated to set up. I tried at one point and it's just a pain. Um, mm. But it, it just seems that... that sounds about right. Getting games, games the, back in 2005. <laughs> Smaller multiplayer, mm. with more restrictive maps, and no aerial or space combat apart from when you pick up a package that says, oh, I can use a TIE Fighter for the next ten minutes, or until I get shot down. You but spot one in the TIE Fighter, you immediately get rocketed by the other team, and oh, you're back on the ground again. Have, have you been watching someone be particularly salty about that game? <laughs> because that's exactly what kind that of sounds like. gameplay, yes. Whilst yeah, yeah. people were playing it, and it's like, oh, I so it's, wish I could just get my type, get into TIE Fighter or the X-Wing or whatever, and go straight up. Yeah, that's what they needed to do. They needed to add that. Yeah. This, What they said when they first produced the game was that space battles would change the ground battles. Yeah. And then they got rid of space battles. So essentially what they did was say, this is going to happen, and then ignore it entirely. Mm. Which is good. Yeah. Uh. I heard something about... Star Wars Battlefront 3. Not the one by what? EA, that Star Wars what? Battlefront. Battlefront 3. Really? Where? There was a mod at one point for Battlefront 2. Yeah. Yeah. And... I heard something a few... about a week ago, I think. Or as a time of recording, apparently. Um, and it was that they were actually planning on releasing the Battlefront 3. Oh, uh, yes, I remember this. Oh, Christ. And I can't remember where I heard it. They cancelled it, didn't they? They cancelled it to begin with, yeah. But yeah, they cancelled it in, like, what, 2014? Something like that. Um, End of 2014, it's got to have been. Well, there was leaked gameplay of it in 2013. Mm. Um, that'd have been really good. That'd have been better than EA grabbing. Apparently, the whole yeah. The, the the people who were developing it had developed a way to do the space to ground combat stuff. And you just oh. literally fly down towards the planet and you get to the ground map. That'd be really good. Yeah. That's just a really big skybox with a bit of teleporting in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds really. Good. But anyway, carrying on with games because. That's obviously what we're here for half, half one third of the time. Yeah. Um, you've been playing what was it? Arcage. Arcage and um, Supreme Commander. Ah, Subcom. Oh, Forge Alliance. Th those are my two at the moment: Supreme Commander, Forge Alliance, and Arcage, and Star Trek Online because they've got their anniversary event going at the moment. Ah, have they? So yeah. how's that playing up? It's a six-year anniversary, so. Ah. Um, they they had to patch for launching the anniversary and that was done like Tuesday yeah so it took me an hour to download the patch Wednesday when I wanted to play <laughs> then Thursday they had to do an emergency patch because they were getting DDoSed a lot so oh, I'm guessing it's just sake. like a, an update to all the router locations and the way so they did a patch for a patch to stop them being spammed yeah um <laughs> So I had to this morning when I jumped on to do my daily stuff. Um, Did it finally launch? It it only took about five minutes to do the one today because it was a lot smaller. Oh, thank God! But is it any good? Yeah, I I love doing all the 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 event stuff because you get to go to different places around the the Star Trek Online universe, and uh -huh. this one actually includes time travel and stuff. Not time, no, not time, not time, tra no, no, time oh, travel. Star Trek game, how many times do you have to do time travel? Lots. Lots uh, of time travel. I'm expecting, I'm expecting the Doctor to come in with a tribunal halfway through. <laughs> it's like halfway, probably last year I was maining on um, Mass Effect. Yeah. And that'd be my way to relax. <laughs> 
go and pew pew yeah. some people on Reapers. Uh, Damn the Reapers. Some Reapers, yeah. And then the Andromeda's them. coming out and we're not sure what the hell that's gonna be. Oh, oh I can't wait for Andromeda. I don't I don't know whether I should be out a good excited for it or scared. Okay. I, I'm really excited for it because it's the next Mass Effect game and it's a brand new story and everything. Mm. But With I'm really Rider. scared it because it's Origin and EA making it. EA have got their it's, slimy tendrils in it. By yeah, the way, need the, to get past, out now. Like the past few franchises that they've got hold of. Star Wars just... being one of them. Um, they, they've kind of screwed over the sequel that they've brought out. And Hello, yeah, Sims. EA... It was the people that originally made Mass Effect, weren't they? Yeah. So, because it's their baby, they might take a bit more care of it. This but, is this is coming from them saying the words, yes, let's make Sims 4 exactly ha worse than Sims 2. Yeah. Realising that they fucked up and then selling Maxis off. Maxis was their original baby. Yeah. Um, so, we have uh, Andromeda coming out. I'm going yeah. to be really annoyed if all the DLC <laughs> packs require me to get origin points. Oh god, that was that was a debacle that I don't want to be repeated. I installed Mass Effect 3 under the assumption I could just go and buy the DLC packs. No. I went have to, to do achievements. buy DLC packs and went, I need to go and get achievements in the game to get the DLC packs that I want to play. Oh. Then figured that we're just doing the achievements there wasn't enough points to get all the DLC, like even all the main ones, like Leviathan and um, Citadel. Oh yes, Citadel. So get Citadel first. I, I I then was like, okay, how else do you get origin points? Went onto the game. How can you? By doing multiplayer. Oh, which is dead now, isn't it? Of a game that is basically dead at the moment because it, it's it must be dead content. There's, there's got to be, there's got to be no people playing that, or at least well, maybe one not. or two servers. Like if they've got, if they like Mass Effect, but yeah. it was released in 2002. Mass Effect 3? Mass Effect 3 was released in 2002. What? Yeah. It's been four years since the last Mass Effect. So... You said 2002? Yeah. 12. Oh, 2002. <laughs> Words, okay. <laughs> okay, I won't hold you. That I won't hold you to that one. But we'll keep going, keep going. Hey, magic last night, okay. <laughs> that's, that's the other thing I can really get into. Magic gathering. Oh my god. Whereas now that I've upgraded my PC, I, th I think I've finally realised what game, what, why I spent so much time on TF2. Why? Because I didn't have any money to play anything decent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. So I've pretty much been spamming GTA 5, now, wanting to get now that. that. You have a student loan and a computer that can run things. Yeah, it's just sort of, hmm, GTA 5 looks good. Bye. Hmm, Fallout 4's on sale. Bye. So yeah, um, Fallout 4's really good. I will recommend it to anyone. Yeah. Although I do not understand the hate it gets for not being as RPG as Fallout 3, because I personally didn't like Fallout 3. Because it was too RPG? No, because it was just... I don't like... I don't think I like that g generation of um, Bethesda games. I just didn't like... Obl I didn't like Oblivion. I didn't like Fallout 3. Mm. I liked New, new Vegas more, and I loved yeah. Skyrim. So... And I love Fallout 4, so maybe I like this sort of, this new generation of the engine better yeah. than the old one. Because it felt so clunky. Okay. It felt so slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what a lot of people said with Fallout is mm -hmm. that the, the, the new combat system... This is, the combat system was changed quite a lot between Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Yeah, it Fallout was. I, 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 I do notice it was, but for me, that's every improvement under in the sun. Well, that's the thing. A lot of the avid... Um, people that play Fallout, mm. like from Fallout 1, have gone, well, it's not a Fallout combat system anymore. It does yeah. like Fallout combat system. I can, I can say, I can actually agree with that, but I didn't like the combat in the first place, so that's yeah, sort but of... What yeah. was, they're not necessarily saying they don't like it, they're just saying mm. it doesn't feel Fallout. Yeah, it doesn't feel so Fallout. It, it doesn't sound mm. Well, it was GTA 5 just sits back and just goes, and here's the story all about how. 
and it does it literally goes everywhere and everything goes wrong i mean if if you don't want spoilers people watching just skip ahead a little bit more but i'm currently at a point where um trevor who's one of the psychotic of the trio because you have franklin you have trevor and you have michael mm. and trevor the psychotic one of the trio um was doing a job for michael's friend and it turned out that that he wasn't getting paid do you want to know what he did kidnapped the guy's bloody wife <laughs> phoned michael and went yeah when we might need to make a little bit of a detour and they're now currently hiding out in the middle of the desert being hunted down by the guy at the start of the game which was already threatening michael because he pulled down a house down a cliff straight down a cliff wow it's and then do you want to know what trevor does next in the next 10 minutes of gameplay, I am flying a crop duster into the back of a jumbo jet <laughs> to hijack a jumbo jet. I think that's cool. But it, it makes no sense. Mm. But it's still Ooh. fun. It's still fun. That and I'm waiting for LEGO Worlds to actually be multiplayer. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, TT. Get on it. I'd like to play Lego Worlds. I'd like to play Lego Dimensions as well. Oh God! But my, I, I think if I ever got into that, my mum would kill me. I, I'm because I, I played it like, over. Th my mum was like, when it came out, because my brother wanted it. My brother, my mum was like, no, it's too expensive. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is extortionate, but at the at the same time, I played. I played it um, with the um, Portal 2 pack and the Doctor Who pack because mm. someone bought it and I was playing on it. And there is no more joy than watching a um, a Valve-written Lego campaign and a BBC-written Lego campaign in, in a video game. There is no greater... There's one scene that I will keep bringing up and I will always bring up to say why you must buy this game. And mm. it is a scene between... Superman, Doc Brown, and the Doctor having an argument about who can travel the fastest. <laughs> all all the while, a Dalek spaceship is flying through the background with the Tower of Orthanac. <laughs> wow. So wait, who, who did they figure can fa travel the fastest? They didn't actually um, s finally agree, but I reckon the Doctor won only because he actually was the... There's this, the three main characters. There was Gandalf, Batman, and Wildstyle. And I swear the Doctor was the fourth main character because you saw him more than anyone else. <laughs> it's like, it was brill. Oh, it had so much fun in it. Yeah. Granted, the Simpsons area was fucking horrible, though. <laughs> Good God. Oh. I don't understand why they would ever did that. Yeah. I can understand why they did Portal because it had a chart because nowadays the generation sort of likes that sort of thing. But Simpsons? I thought that died well, in a hole somewhere. When, when you actually play, can you mm. like cross over the characters? So can you have the Val the Portal characters in the like Doctor's story? Oh yeah 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 you can because you can with every character you get this little disc that they sit yeah. on and that disc is what negates what characters you can pick. Well, so. Can you, in the Doctor's timeline, use a portal gun, then? Yes. You can. There is there is probably... that. Yeah, there was there was a little bit where you had... Essentially, if you buy everything, mm -hmm. you can do everything in the game, and there'll be one or two bits that you can't do without certain characters. That's how the game makes its money. So you have to have certain things to unlock. You have to have certain characters oh. to unlock other bits of the game and finish it 100%. Wow. Uh, I think they calculated it. To finish it 100%, you need, like, four or five different... You need all of the expansion pack packs, and you need four or five of the battle packs. And to get that, it's probably around 170, 180 quid. At the moment. At the moment. And they're announcing Phase 2 for that game, because they're not releasing sequels, they're just updating that game itself. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I think this could be a real contender for um, Skylanders. Oh yeah, it definitely is already. It's it it took the it took it by storm and this sort yeah. of 
never let go. Also, my other favorite bit about it is when, when it comes up to a part where you have to build something, like physically build something, you it pulls up in a virtual instruction manual in front of you and goes, right, these are the bricks you need. Build this and stick it on the plate. <laughs> so there's a bit in it where in the Portal 2 campaign, in the in the DLC campaign, you have to build a companion cube. You have to build oh, it. Oh, that's cool. So it brings up this thing, and you're sticking this thing together, going, "Oh my god, I'm building Lego to play a Lego game." Yeah. And it well, it works. I think that would be the the sort of game that I use Lego for. Hmm. Because I we I, have I, at home boxes and boxes yeah. of Lego. I don't know whether or not mm. don't use them. <laughs> and it's like I think if I had a game like that. I'd That's what HoloLens Lego. needs to be for. That's what HoloLens needs. Yeah. HoloLens needs to go, right, here is a Lego. Here's a Lego. You're building, like, say, a robot or something. Mm. Here is a Lego robot made out of Lego in front of you. You stick the ho it in the HoloLens. The HoloLens looks at it and goes, right, this must be a joint. This must be a joint. And it works from that point onwards. It makes animation around that. Yeah. Like Spore like, mixed with the HoloLens. Yeah. yeah. The, the Lego stuff. Hmm. I have boxes and boxes of Lego. And pretty much no instruction manuals anymore. I, I hold my hand up as guilty as charged for that as well. Yeah. So, if there would, if the yes, I know there's sites online I can go and search for instruction manuals, or I can just build stuff without instruction manuals. I'm not creative at all. <laughs> but if if there was a way for me with the Hollow Lens or with a Google Glass or with a VR headset of yeah. some that was augmented reality, not virtual reality yes um then to go okay i want to build something i want to build a space station yeah yeah i, I go online and find the the thing for the space or it goes online and finds the thing for the space station like an instruction manual for it yeah and then using that it will show me the with the bricks that i own how to build it how to build it that would be really good, actually. Because some people will use bricks, and you'll go, Oh, oh my no, God, I can, see, I can see Lego doing this. I really can, just making yeah. a Brickpedia database. Yeah. And it's oh not my... that you have that brick. So say you, you go onto this database, and you find one that you like, and you go, okay, you search through all your things, and you look for the bricks that you do and don't have, and if you go, oh, okay, I don't have that brick. So you go back a page, and you put in the, the exclusion list, the brick you don't have, because you just found it in one of the lists and it yeah. generates the list and you go so it actually oh, makes a formula for what bricks you have and what you don't to yeah. essentially fill in the gaps yeah and if you say okay i specifically want to use this, this brick. brick in it somewhere yeah. you can add that to the have in it good because god the, can, can you imagine this actually working and then producing oh, a oh, impromptu it, set of mlp lego sets oh, good god the sweet app Sweet Oaks, Sweet Apple Acres, and the Golden Oaks Library. I would pay money for a set of the Golden Oaks Library. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Using this, you wouldn't even have to pay anything. Exactly. Well, I'd probably go and buy the bricks for it. Oh yeah. Because I wouldn't. Ha I would inevitably never have them. Mm. But it's like I went and bought all the bricks to make the Spies Butterfly Knife. Oh, cool. Which works. So I was like. Yeah, it works, and I stuck it all together with super glue, so I had that for an interesting time. Mm -hmm. Are we are we now on to the second section? Oh, to which, we might have done. To, to which we need to put a slight spoiler warning, or rather a um, a slight other warning that won't be dicks. To oh yeah, so well, I'm, well, I'm going to put that was, up. What I was going with with the Lego thing was no, go on. You, yeah, you've got all these bricks. No, yeah. you don't. You're not creative to think of what to do with them yourself mm. yeah so you've got this list of things and then once you've done that you just save the list of bricks that you have uh... and then the next time you come to the oh thing, it knows all the bricks that you've already put in that you don't have or that you do have and goes okay here's a load more suggestions that use these bricks yeah and then you oh, go God. okay click on the next one look for the bricks and go okay actually i don't have this one either and you just keep adding to it and eventually you'll get a list that generates and each time you might only find that you don't have one brick out of it or you might not have that's brilliant or it might eventually generate one and you just go i have all of those and then 
Well, do you know how there's also some Lego bricks that um are just got stickers on the side of them, or just oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. And your the the design that it's telling you to use says use a specific colour, or it's one with a sticker. Yeah. Well, I think there should be a bit that says disallow colours or something. Yeah, just, just ignore the colours or ignore... Lego, we're happily accepting applications for our um, inevitable um, jobs there, okay? So, <laughs> yep. just, just come to us, job. okay? We got ideas. <laughs> I'm no good at coding. I'm no good at doing physics. I can come up with ideas all day for you. Lego, I'm no good at... I'm slightly good at coding. I'm shit at physics. <laughs> and I'm the one doing the physics degree here. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm the one doing the computing degree here. Yeah. This is going so well. But I think we're going to have to go on to the next thing, aren't we? Spoiler because we've been talking, we've been talking for... Th we've, we've been talking for 30 fucking minutes. Oh, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to get on to um, the slightly... Are we going to call this controversial? Very. You, you, it's YouTube controversial. This is fucking minefield territory, so I'm just going to stick something in the middle, just to cut right here. Warning, the following shit has ponies in it. Okay? Done. Can can we just start talking about Galacon, please? Because that's, that's oh, the yeah. one at the top yeah, of the okay. list. So, it, 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 for, for people who don't know what it is... Oh, Galacon. Oh, yeah. Galacon is a... Um, the largest European-based MLP convention in this world. And I don't know what other world. We're, we're, we're specifically going to this one, is that we live in England. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not selling my kidneys on the black market to get to New York. Or to Maryland, wherever. Oh, um, where is it? Oh, Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, yeah. I'm not selling my kidneys on the black market for that. I, I prefer it's keeping my kidneys. <laughs> So yeah, so we, me and Tom decided we wanted to go to Galacon, which... Well, no, originally, we wanted to go to Book, which is the UK, the biggest one in the UK. Which is Bull. <laughs> yeah, we, we, the, well, I decided it was Bull. Well, what, what we figured, the, 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 I think the reason was that we did it, was that we, we looked at student finances and went, wait. It'd be really easy for us to just save up more than enough money over the next year to do a trip to Germany. Yeah, and I think we also looked at the um, pricing for tickets. Buck, you're 65 quid for a single day! Yeah. What the fuck? I mean, um, that's, so, so that's we, excessive. We, we looked at the, the prices for it and we looked and we went, we can save enough for this. Yeah, and we just decided well, to get it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, that was literally, well, <laughs> fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, that was it, just, fuck just it. Go. Done. Um, yeah. So, we're, we're sat here in the middle of, well, at the end of January. It's the 30th, isn't it? Yeah. It's the last couple of days of January. Uh, and we're like, information steadily come, well. It's 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 slowly trickling in. I want to put up a couple, I'm going to put up a couple of the tweets that were put out towards yeah. um, Galacon at this point. Because so they were funny as fuck. <laughs> information trickling out of the organizers until what, which is tickets are coming eventually yeah and, and, and pricing is for all the tickets I mean, yeah what were they like um i don't even i don't even have galacon open on my pages where the fuck is that gun there it is um yeah so we got um the standard ticket which is 65 euros a plus ticket which is 130 euros and the bazam ticket which is 260 euros Mm -hmm. So that's essentially, what, 45 quid for a standard ticket, 90 quid for a plus ticket. Yeah. And that's a two-day event Until with the with one. the added concert or the added music day, isn't it? Whereas oh. with Buck, it was the Summer Sun celebration is extra. Yeah. Um, which is bull. <sighs> so, so, yeah, we, we, we found that all this information is now trickling out of them. We, we yeah. found the line where we're going to stay, we've found this that is... the flights are there. And hopefully, by any luck, we might actually be visually recording this shit. Oh yeah, because I'll take my my 4K phone. Yay! The phone has a 4K camera and a 1080p screen. I'll take <gasps> my phone, which has a flashlight. 
<laughs> and a SIM card. That works. Because computing student obviously has social technophobic mm. tendencies. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we have that. That that's going to be exciting. As 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 I as Pinkie Pie says, we're nervous sighted. So nervous sighted. Okay, here we go. This, this is something about the the tickets. What? Let's go. Come on. It, it was it was something I linked to you, I think. But the plus what? and Bizam tickets are sponsor tickets, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. contain different goodies and perks. More details on that soon. That was sent three days ago in response to someone on Twitter. Yeah, yes. The plus tickets normally come with a poster and a T-shirt. Yeah, that, that's which is probably the one I'm going to end up getting because then I can get everything signed on the T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we don't know who's going to attend yet. We don't know um, what... Um, like... I, I will be flipping my shit if Mr. John Delancey is the first person to be revealed. I think everyone would flip their shit. I think us would flip our shit most because we, we're not expecting that. No, I'm, I'm so Well, Mr. John Delancey you, you, has a you... very large part in my life because I'm... I mean, I'm a fan Q... of Star Trek. Yeah. He's Q in Star Trek. I'm a fan of Star Wars, but I don't think he ever appeared in that. He was in Torchwood. He was in Torchwood. He's he's in pretty much every... He's got his finger in every sci-fi pie. Apart from Star Wars. Uh, yeah. He was in... Probably... Disney, get on that now. Was he, was he in Doctor Who? Probably uh, at some point. When well, was... I count Torchwood as Doctor Who, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but he was in Stargate as well. Oh, As was he? The mastermind. Ooh. Yeah. So he's an evil guy in that as well. I need he's to a, see that. Well, he's not an evil guy. He's a slightly shady guy. Ooh. And then he's obviously Discord in MLP. I mean, do you need to say anything else? Discord is Discord, Discord. is John Delancey and Q mixed together in one beautiful cacophony of Draconicus. Yeah. That was quite a mouthful. Don't make me say that again. But... <laughs> Do you even recall what I said anymore? <laughs> I, I kind of do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, 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 yeah, that's that's amazing. We're looking forward to that entirely. However, because recent news, and I mean very recent news, came out on um, Equestria Daily. When was this? When was this? Um, two days ago. I didn't actually see this. I was amazed. Um, season 6 has a trailer. Nick, Nick, Nick. Which means this is officially the shortest hiatus of the lot. Yeah. You know, because s six months is a valid hiatus, I suppose. Yeah. yeah you, we don't want a year-long hiatus, especially when we've pretty much been told it's ending in 2018. Yeah, it, I reckon there's going to be one more season after the movie, or two more seasons maybe, and then they'll can it for this generation. Yeah. And then hopefully they don't piss everyone off and release a new generation which is god awful <laughs> then again it might be better than this one who knows yeah we don't know it. But, but 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 while we're on this subject we need to we need to stick on the the, the season six thing and we mm. need to look at it because i have not seen it yet i've not seen it either and so, i was like i don't think i want to see it but so i've, I've got I'm it here watch it. <laughs> I've got it here. We're going to regret this, aren't we? Yes. I'm going to stick it in 720p because I haven't had it in 720p. So, so am I going to click the play button? Yeah. Dare I click the play? Okay. Fuck it. We're going to die now, aren't we? Probably tell you, seeing the baby might be a bit of a shock. Come on. Is it not your shining? Babies before. I expect meeting this one will be any different. What? Oh my! What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Is... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? I gotta get the right scene. That. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, I like. Okay, you look at everyone's face. That that face everyone. is. That face is. That face is. That face is the face of the devil. Yeah, everyone. Apart that from face, Pie. those face, no, even Pinkie Pie is fucking oh, shocked. Okay, because when you paused it, it was like, hey, I've seen this before. <laughs> this is, this is terrifying. The, 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 yeah. Look at the disapproving faces. Look, r r rarities. 
yeah. as much as I hate this, that is the face of there is no disappointment that could possibly be on my face that describes this moment. What, what I think is running through Rarity's head is colours don't match, colours don't match, colours don't match, they don't do this, colours, what, colours. What's going, th what's going through Pinky's eyes, head is Hasbro finally did it. They finally wanted to make more toys than films. Yeah, probably. Because yeah. Pinkie Pie is our resident fourth wall breaker. And it's I mean, hailing outside my head. I mean, the comics. Even in the comics, it's amazing. Uh, I was um, reading a fanfic. And, uh, oh, I'm going I'm to actually commit suicide. It, the, it, the words. This would be in Discord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pops the wall up between mm -hmm. him and Pinky. Yeah. With the word fourth on it. <laughs> and Pinky immediately smashes through it. <laughs> and he goes, oh damn it, I should have known. She has, she knows that wall's fatal flaw. What is the fatal flaw? Well, that, that's the thing, we don't get told that. I, I, I just, wanna... He's just saying that Pinky knows the fatal I, I'm, flaw. I'm going to play it from the beginning again, and I want to pick out a couple of points. Mm -hmm. I should probably tell you, seeing the baby might... Okay, here... Yeah. It might just be me, or it might just be his hairstyle or something. Well, does he look a bit bedraggled to you? He looks bedraggled, but he also looks shorter in comparison to the rest of them. Do, do, do um, when Alicorns conceive, do they nick power or something? Well, Are they energy siphons? If you think about it, the person closest to the camera here should be it's, shining. It, it is shining, just yeah. by the shadow. You can tell yeah. by the shadow. So then all of the other people should be slightly smaller than him. And they're not. And they're not. Yeah. They're very not. Because they're further away from the camera, you should get that depth of field thing. But However, you don't. Mm. So that's either something that they're going to finish, because this is obviously not something that they've finished making yet, because it's still got all the time codes and stuff on. Oh, this might just be raw data, though. They normally yeah. do that. And the fact that they normally have the premiere normally dates to BabsCon. Hmm. Which is really annoying because so, Babscon so, is a fucking annoying. Ah. Yeah, so the, they might still be tweaking the depth of field for this shot. Mm. Yeah, but it, it also he just, just mm. seems shorter for some reason. Mm. But also the wording is it is it me or do I'm getting the bit of a shock? The the impression is that is it not shinings? <laughs> yes, yeah, like just I was thinking that it might come as a bit of a shock. Why is it a shock? It's an alicorn. We having know you're a child. having a baby. An alicorn having a child. This is coming from the fact that the cakes had a unicorn and a pegasus. Both earth ponies. And both... Yeah, exactly. This is not a surprising thing. Why is it a shock? <laughs> well, however, um... So, we've got... So, they're all in the room. So, all, th all three of the main monarchs are in the room. Um... Cadus looks so fucking tired, it's almost going to kill her. She looks like she's about to collapse. Um, Celestia looks like she's waiting for the face that's going to happen when Twilight looks at it. Mm. And Luna looks genuinely concerned for the lot of them. Yeah. More to the point, why have they not said anything at all? They just mm. stood there silently. Is this just... I thought, I thought this was when we were going to finally see some interaction. Yeah. Different. Right. Just, just no. Okay, just, cool. just no. That is. Let's see if I can find it. Go on, try and find it. Okay. Where have those colours come from? Um. What is? What does shining look like? Um. Shining, I suppose, is where the blue. Ah, was from. That was the, bad. What did I do? The, oh the god. Pink purple ah, is, that is was bad. From... Oh crap. Um. That one. There we go. Better. <laughs> and the pink purple has come from Cadence. The pinky purple has come yeah. from Cadence, but what is the where's this blue shine come from? Yeah. But what what I keep thinking is Okay, have they just thrown they, design they look... out of the window here? Of course they did. What is it called? What is it called? Flurry Heart! Of course they threw design out the window. They looked and... out the window when they did it. <laughs> yeah. So it was like you didn't. You, you couldn't have chosen worse colours to put in. Some just want to point out, we say we paused it on the worst rape face I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> just look at that face. 
<laughs> Suppose he Oh dear, that that is getting. Oh no, 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 that's not staying in my mind. Oh Christ! Ow, my eyes! Ah! There we so, go. So there we go. Then that happens, and it's like, why is this shocking? However, Rainbow Dash is the only one that looks at it and goes, "Ah, cool." Ooh. Another person to teach how to fly. Yeah, actually, that's that's. Why does she not have a business in that yet? Oh I my mean, god! That okay. would work. Look what? at the hair at the bottom. Leia. <laughs> exactly. Leia. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Where's you the can't, twin? You can't. You, they can't help themselves. They just can't. Can where's they? the twin? Quick, where's the twin? Yeah, um, actually. They, anyway, they must. Okay. They must descend. They must descend Luke to Appaloosa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> whose, whose hair does this look like now? Um. How about a certain villain from the last season? I know where you're going with this. I don't like it. I don't. I don't. No. Fuck, no. Tom, don't. No. Tom. No. No. The thing is, it looks extremely like those colours. Don't say that name. <laughs> That's why I didn't. Oh, fuck, God. Oh, fuck. Oh. However, that is actually quite surprising. Where the fuck is she, speaking of that devil? Hmm. So I mean, she's the fucking... fucking friends now. Where the fuck is she? Yeah. Or maybe, but then again, there's no spike here either. No, there's, there's no... Please don't, please don't tell me they've just become best buddies in the time between this and then. <sighs> oh. like... This is the problem. This is the pro Season five was so good. And then they reduced that finale. Yeah. Which has consequences for the entire rest of the rest of the seasons. It, it should have been done a lot longer, over a lot longer time. <laughs> so moving, moving on here. We're moving on. Let's um. The, the the face says, "I will eat your soul." Definitely. And I'm, that that must be the first time we've seen any of the characters wear underwear. Actually, that is a good point. Not even, not even the cakes children wore underwear. Uh, I can't remember. Oh mm, no, I don't think we saw them wearing them, did we? I don't, I can't remember. I don't know. We probably it. Oh, maybe they did. I can't remember. I can't remember that long ago. No, but they're still not detailed. However, what concerns are, like... me at this point is why they're not already using their magic. Why she's not, why she is not already using her magic and her wings. Yeah. I mean, the cakes were doing that within what? Fifteen minutes. No, yeah. Not even that. They're literally boof done. Now it's hell. Yeah. That thing should be the devil of all Christ. Yeah. However, I been, do believe... It's over, what? If you go off some of the fan fictions, it's over 5,000 years. But it's at, it's at least a 1,000 years plus. Yeah. That the last Alicorn was born. Yeah. Because that's... Even even canonically, it's got to be over a 1,000 years. Yeah, because that, that would have been... What? Because both Twilight and Cadus have said... Ascend. Ascended to Alicornism, yeah. whatever the fuck that means. And um, Celestia and Luna were the last born. But were they? But we don't know, do we? Maybe they ascended to Alicornism. Maybe yeah, something. Been... This this is where this is where we get to the point where Hasbro just haven't told us enough. Wasn't the canon that um, ascended Alicorns don't live? Yeah. Longer? Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah I suppose the lifespan of a pony. So unless so now... they've discovered some magic to extend their lifetime, this is Star Wars the bearded era. I'm pretty sure yeah. they work that out. So, <laughs> but yeah. Also, are you noticing that the eyes are at least two times bigger than yeah. anything else? Is is this a new generation born <laughs> in front of us? Oh oh oh! I see the pun there. A new generation. Fuck's sake. But yes, apparently it's meant to be coming in April, so hold on to your fucking hats. Yeah, there's no no further video, for fuck's sake. Hold on to your fucking hats. So yeah, that's a interesting um thing that, that, to that, cover. That's a thing. 
Uh, I can't really think about anything else about it, so... Um... Okay, how did they get the name Flutterheart? Or Flurry Heart? Flurry Heart. Well, I'm sorry, did, did someone sit in McDonald's with their McFlurry and go, Ooh! This yeah, is where we get the name from. No, come on, that's 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 Ubisoft level of naming. <laughs> they don't, they wouldn't pull that off, would they? I've no idea. I mean, the entirety of the Crystal Empire is based upon Lord of the Rings, anyway. Yeah. Why didn't they just call us Strider? <laughs> Why didn't they stick with the name that they had for on a box? What Skylar? What Skylar? Yeah. Which sounds like Strider. Exactly. Maybe that's maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe the entirety of MLP is just one big Lord of the Rings fanfic. <laughs> oh my god. Damn it, Lauren. I mean, the Balrog or Morgoth. It's, it's Discord. <laughs> Obviously. Well, well, we have no evidence to proclaim how Starswell the Bearded died. Or even if he did die. Or even if he did die. He disappeared. There's a lot of fanfics going around. There's a lot of fan theories going around. The Discord is Starswell. Yeah. That went an experiment went horribly wrong because that's something that happens apparently. You just randomly perform a magic experiment and become a new creature entirely. Mm. I mean, in this day and age, when when the most extru excruciating magic we've seen is moving the sun and the moon, we've we've still seen nothing more impressive than that. No, we've seen anything more impressive, but we've also not seen that it hurts people. It's not excruciating. Mm, that's true. Although we did see it when Twilight was doing it, and it required quite a bit of effort, even did with... Did Twilight do it? Yeah, Twilight moved the sun and the moon in the season four finale. Oh, okay. In what season? Oh, yeah, with Tyrek. The dodg was... With the dodgiest bloody moving, and the most effort put into any magic I think she's ever done in her life. Yeah. So, does that mean that Celestia has to sit there all day just moving the sun slightly? Or does she just, like, kick it above Maybe the that's why we never see her. Before. Maybe that's why we never... S but then that then that implies that L Celestia and Luna have 100% magic usage constantly, never stopping. No. Oh, my God. They're, they're slaves to the hierarchy. Yeah, but that must then mean that they have such a big magic, either magic store, that they can do that. And keep a lot, and stay alive. Or that they regenerate their, what, magic... Mana resources, or whatever. Well, or whatever. Use. Yeah. So quickly that it doesn't matter. Hmm, so it's just like breathing. Yeah. After a th However, I do like the, um, canonical implications of the, um, have you... You haven't got to the fifth volume in the um, no, comics, no. haven't you? In the fifth volume of the comics, Celestia is a bitch. A massive fucking bitch. You, you, you lose any um, Respect. pity you have for her <laughs> over the A Thousand Years on Her Own. Mm. And I'm not spoiling it because that's not fair. It's really not. However, go and read it. It's amazing. To no. me, the fifth one and the third one... No, 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 the fifth one and the second one are my favourites at the moment. Mm. But, you know, that's just purely... I mean, the fourth one is pirates. You are a pirate. <laughs> I'm not putting that on the video. Oh. I, of course, lied. <laughs> but, yeah, um... What we got now is pretty much we were we we've been talking for an hour now. That's fine. And this will probably go up in what three sections anyway. Yeah. Um. So are we gonna actually do something on Equestria Girls or not? Because it's been how many months since that came out? A lot. Three, three or four at least. Are we actually going to do a reaction to that? Well, we can go through and pick out our best bits i think i can't remember this in, i can't remember it though so then yes we will do it then yeah it it was it was so long ago ironically do you want to do the pokemon first oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh um yeah continuing with video games because we're fucking nerds and we have to be nerds let's let's do the rest of the podcast before we do that okay oh okay we might as well call this a podcast because it's what it is mm. it's a podcast with visual images plugged in but um yeah pokemon 
it's its 20th anniversary this year. You know, it's now officially an old fart in the gaming industry. So, yeah, that's coming out. And um, Pokemon did a really, really nice um, 20th thing. Oh, for God's sake, I hate the Control-C copy bullshit. Are you putting it on there now? No. Yeah, um, they put out a lovely trailer for um, Super Bowl. Which has the twentieth anniversary bullshit in it? Are you putting on on the um chat now in the room now? Oh, can they? Oh, I'll I'll do it then. I've got it here. Okay. I've got it here. But yeah, they did a really nice. If we can pause this before it even starts, there we go. pause it. There you go. But yeah, um, they did a really nice um thing on the twentieth anniversary, and it's really interesting to watch. I mean, there's a lot of Easter eggs in it as well, behind the scenes and things. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Have you seen well. this? I am. I, 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 I only have. saw it this. I only saw it this morning, so I was like, "Yay!" Oh, no. So, are we gonna? I can't remember when I, where I saw it, but I I'm think just gonna stick it on I'm now then. It. So, yeah, go on. It's on it. I I think it's this is. Ooh. I didn't see the start. Oh yeah. Charizard. I can do that. Wait, was that a ride on chess piece? Probably. The the the, the, the fact is that I Super Bowl. That was a that's a team magma. Is that team magma on the head? Chills. Do you want Let the best? Pikachu. No, there's Pikachu. There's Pikachu. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. So, so now, if if this is a thing that they do. Nintendo, get on that fucking game right now. I want that. Yeah. I want. I want just a 3D be, Pokemon game. Is it just going to be a copy of Pokemon Go, though? Or whatever the one that they've already done. In real I life. wonder if that is genuinely what they think Pokemon Go is going to look like. Oh, you made me remember that. Oh. Because that's what people imagine Pokemon Go to be. But I, I do want to point out one thing. Do you want to know what? Nintendo apparently think are the most rel most identifiable Pokemon. Go on. Charizard, Gyarados, Magneton. Uh. Magneton is officially the most identifiable Pokemon. Huzzah! Mm -hmm. If it's any consolation, Magneton is my favourite. That's why I'm saying that. Magnezone. Magnezone and Magneton, other than Dusk Noir, are my favourite. The, the Sinnoh generation is my generation. I think. Whereas I have no idea about the rest of them. Yeah. But yeah, that was that's really interesting. That's but Super Bowl has always been a famous place for a lot of really interesting things, hasn't it? Mm. It's like um, Super Bowl has been there. F Super Bowl did MLP last year. Did they? Yeah, they were in the you know the um, countdown bit at the start. Mm. Normally they have an, a small MLP spot. I'm wondering if they got one this year. Ooh, that. Oh, it'd be because they had they had Pinkie Pie run through an entire blockade of ponies wearing, f f what is it? What do they call it? I don't even know what they call it. Is it? S this is football for them, isn't it? Yeah, the pads. Yeah, they wearing the football gear, yeah. charging straight through a crowd, which <laughs> really threw a lot of people off. Mm. <laughs> because if that can get a spot, heaven helps. If and I'm also looking forward to the Lego... There's going to be a Lego spot in it. And there'll always be a... Um, there better be a Star Wars spot, because... Fuck it. That needs to happen. Speaking of Star Wars... Mm. Force Awakens. You might say it awoke a generation to Star Wars. The new generation. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have... You have, you the, you have the... um. You have the original trilogy generation you have the new trilogy generation which is our generation mm -hmm. 
and now you have this, which is yeah. interesting. <laughs> I will say that I, I, if if I prefer any of the seasons or series or whatever it's called, I'd say I like the original series the best. Well, you like the um, 1980s stuff. So, the original trilogy. Yeah. So, A New I, Hope, I, 4, mm, 5, and 6. I'll never get the new I, trend, so. mm, I really... For, I, I know I'll be hanged for this, but I really like the new trilogy. Mm. I just prefer it. I just don't like the contrivance and... I, I, I guess I just don't like the grittiness of the original trilogy. Yeah. I prefer a much more cleaner sci-fi. <laughs> and that, that is what the new, tri- new trilogy gave us. But by God, The Force Awakens, it was good, wasn't it? It was, yes. Even even how long ago did we see it? What, a month? Two? Yeah. Just over a month ago, something like that. It's still going to be talked about. For the next. It's worthy, it's worthy of being talked about it's as well. It's going to be talked about until the next one comes out. And the that, next one that... is 2017, isn't it? No, there's I mean, one. You've got, you've got... one is this year. Rogue One is this year, but Rogue One has got nothing to do with that. That's a spin-off. It, isn't it like between? It's between. It's between Force Awakens and well, no, no, no. Wait, it's between Revenge of the Sith and, and Force Awakens. New Hope. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it's mean. a prequel to Number Four. Yeah. Which is interesting because then that means what are they going to do? They're going to keep Darth Vader. I mean, they're going to use his face somehow. Mm. But who's going to play Darth Vader now? Yeah. Oh God, they better get that voice right. Because that's why he became such an icon. The voice was amazing. Well, the, the voice modulator can pretty much imitate anything. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Do it like they did with Luke, and you just got you just have him in the scene, just not say anything. Or, but but this one's meant to have him as one of the main villains, because he was chasing down the group of people who stole the um, plans, wasn't he? Mm. I mean, at the end, at the start of Episode Four, he found them. Yeah. With Leia and rip the ship apart trying to find them. Yeah, I suppose. So, so this is going to be of great importance. This is this is. Uh, are they? They're, they're gonna. They've got to have. They should have in it. I reckon at least a little bit of a shout back to Boba. Hmm. Somewhere in that, or some sort of Mandalorian. Yeah, definitely. And they need to have a shout back to the Clone Wars. <laughs> uh, because if they don't do that, if they don't have a droid. It's I will be pissed off. At the same time as the Clone Wars, isn't it? It's because that's it's, between three and four. Between three, three, four was what twenty years? Something like that. twenty, yeah. twenty years after four. Mm-hmm. No, three, three, three. Four was twenty years after three. Yeah. But um, or thirty or something around that. Not a not a great amount of time, but even so, I would expect a few relics from the Clone Wars to be still around. Yeah, definitely. There'll, there'll be the ships around. There'll be the, there'll, like, leave, there'll be stuff from the Republic around still as well. I'm wondering if they could, we could even get a shout-out to the Clone Wars directly by having a genuine clone from the Clone Wars in it. Yeah, because those people I mean, will still be alive. Yeah. Commander Cody made it through the freaking war. Yeah. You, he's seen in, what's it called, Rebels? Isn't he? Yeah. So, so we know he's alive. Yeah. So if we can, that would be really good. Cody and a couple of other of the clones um, deserted, didn't they? Yeah, Cody they deserted like, after Order sixty six. They were like, "Fuck uh, this! I'm not killing Jedi." Well, it was a half one. He did fire. Yeah. He fired at Obi Wan, and uh-huh. then um, disappeared after that. Yeah, and he then came back in Rebels. Like he was still yeah. part of it though. Yeah, um, and there was um, what was his name? Oh, Anakin's or. Vader's um, right-hand clone. What was his name? I don't know. The one that had re- that was the best shot in the get apparently in the army. Mm. Don't know his name, but he if he was in it, by God, that'd be fun. Even if they're just old men now. Yeah. Just reminiscing about the war and being slightly um, cryptic about it. That and, would still be good. And slightly peeved at the stormtroopers and how they don't get as good training. Yeah, because as as. A lot of lore goes that um, the the clones that stay put in the stormtrooper armory are in, get really really pissed off about that, don't they? Yeah, because they do just don't train them as good. Mm. That's why you see in the 
the last the, or that's law wise why yeah. in the last films you don't see anyone hit um <laughs> like everyone's got sh- everyone's got shit shots yeah because they don't just get they just don't get trained as easily they they're like um going back they're to like Stargate, the they're like the Jafar the way ah, that they yeah. the way that they work is they have a really overwhelming numbers for the amount of people you want to kill. So they have it like four, four yeah. people firing. Apparently one. the new order have better um training yeah, though. Definitely. Apparently, because although that was still shocking. Blood in Star Wars. Oh. The first order, yeah. Blood! Actual blood. Yeah. Oh yes. Well it's kind of that's that was that was shocking. Definitely. It was like, kids, go and watch Star Wars. What happens in the first five minutes? Blood is dripping down the front of a First Order Stormtrooper's mask. Yeah. As his friend is obliterated in front of him. Mm-hmm. With, I, I, and there was all the memes about traitor and things. Oh, oh. it's his um, thing in the, the credits being redone to TR8 ER or something. Yeah, which is... Apparently, he's apparently meant to be coming back in the second one for that proper fight between him and Finn. That would be good. It would be, wouldn't it? Because then we could finally actually see a decent fucking fight, because every fight in this one has been contrivance. Yeah. I mean, they were good fights, but they were contrivance. It's like um, the fight between Kylo Ren and Rey was literally... Wait, 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 so the guy, she has no training with this sort of weapon and can still fuck him over. Mm-hmm. Granted, he was shot in the leg or in the arm or something and was probably bleeding out, but this guy has... Well, oh. the way that I think that worked is the, a similar way to how Anakin could fly a pod racer. What incredible! Mm, yeah, and actually. in the yeah, okay, she has the reactions of a Jedi, which is mm. normal for a Jedi, but that she was given some kind of insight as well on how to do it properly. Yeah. So. And and all those you know the um scene in the middle with the um flashbacks where yeah. Ray touches the Luke's lightsaber. Yeah, that sort of thing could have transferred that knowledge as well. Yeah. But there was also a lot of really interesting ones in there where there was a picture, a single, like, five or, like, half a second frame of the Knights of Ren. Yeah. Which are Kylo Ren's... What what would you call them? They're they're not his order, they're the order he belongs to. Yeah. Yeah. Which is run... What From what I can understand, that's run by this great Commander Sloke. Snow. Or, or as I want to call him, Sci-Fi Voldemort. (laughs) <laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah. You just give him, take off his nose, and he becomes a Voldemort. Yeah, definitely. Oh, what else have we got this year? Oh, 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 oh. we got Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool, which will be fun. We got um, X Men. Fuck, I forgot about X Men Apocalypse. Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. X Men Apocalypse this year. Um, we got um the Five Nights at Freddy's movie at the end of the year, hopefully. So I won't be sleeping over Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, we got um, the... Is, is Fantastical Beasts and Where to Find Them coming out this year? Or is that next year? I don't know. The, yes. the, the Harry Potter spin-off. I don't know. Um, we got Batman vs. Superman. We do. We also have Civil War. Oh, God. This this year. We have... The, mo- uh, the wallets are crying. Laser Team. Laser Team? It's um, a, a film by Rooster Teeth that I want uh, to go and see next week. It, uh, actually, it actually came out over here um, on the 29th, and I was going to go and see it then, but I've got um, decided to go to play Magic instead. <laughs> um, I'm looking up what when the hell that that's coming out. No, it's meant to be coming out this year. What is? Fantastic, fantastic beats and beasts and where to find them. Okay, I've meant to be coming out the end of this year. Kept up with that. This is, but then you got the new Ice Age, which I don't know anything about. No. Which I don't want to see. I just don't want to see it. It just, uh, 
It's it's worse than last year's. Mm. Oh no, the year before that. You got Doctor Strange this year. You got Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh god, there's so much this year. Why why does my wallet need to my wallet doesn't need to do this? It really doesn't. <laughs> Heck, you got BFG as well. Oh yeah, that comes out this year, isn't it? And I'm really interested about that because I don't want it to be. I want it to be faithful, but I don't want it to be bad. Oh, mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank movie. <laughs> Shut up and take all my nostalgia, why don't you? Finding Dory's this year. Warcraft. It's just a list of movies. You got Zootopia yeah. this year, isn't it as well? Who? Zootopia, the Disney one. Ugh. And I, I know a lot of people are looking at that with hell in their eyes. I'm like, but see him. I want to see it just because I want to know what it is. Yeah. Because I missed, I missed the um, dinosaur one, whatever it was called. The dinosaur. I I missed that and I regret it because I've I've. I really need to. I need to see all the Disney films and that sort of thing, and I regret missing that one. Mm. I mean, I, I I went and bought Frozen for fuck's sake. I never saw it in the cinema. I went and genuinely bought it on DVD when it came out, just so we could, just so my family could watch it. Wow. And I genuinely half enjoyed it. Yeah. The music's okay. The plot is fairly basic, and the plot twist at the end just wants to kick you in the nuts. Mm. But it was it was fairly good animation. I enjoyed the animation. I enjoyed the little s details, mm. which is why why I think Zootopia will be frigging incredible. I mean, the detail that they could put into that, the amount of fun they could have. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple of seconds of footage. Mm. That was um, on the uh, music video that they released. <laughs> it's already looking to be a really fun movie just to look at, ignoring the plot just to watch. Mm. So yeah, that looks fun. And then weren't we going to talk about how Awakens was slightly copying something? Oh, how it was copying A New Hope. Yeah. The, yeah. There's there's one or two little bits here and there that change, but ultimately it is copying that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Like, I'm, I'm okay. Spoilers. Um, essentially, Han Solo replaces Obi Wan Kenobi. Definitely. But that's all we need to say. You can work it out from that. That's a, literally a copy and paste job. Mm-hmm. And what else does it? Re what else gets replaced? I think they also included like half of Ho like the Hoth battle. Yeah, pretty much. Up to maybe Dagobah, copied yeah. and pasted because Ray then goes to go and find Luke. Mm -hmm. Not under the probably half under the instruction of Han Solo. Yeah, definitely. Because that's who he asked to go. And they they essentially need to find Luke. Luke. And that's how they get there. So yeah. technically, yeah, Han Solo is basically Ben Kenobi. Definitely. So does that mean that um, Luke is going to become Yoda? Mm. Are we going to have to see Luke die next episode? I hope not. Because we got Finn, we got Finn and the other guy, whatever his name is, the um, pilot. I don't know his name. I honestly cannot remember the pilot's name, but no, no, they no. to me feel like they feel like the Han Solo and Chewbacca mix. Mhm. Mm There's a couple of good new plot lines, but ultimately, yes, it is. You blow up big Death Star bang thing, done. Yeah. I expect the third one to have a bigger Star Killer base. I really do. How did was Akbar in this? Was Am Admiral Akbar in this? I swear he was. I'm pretty sure someone said something like it. Yeah. Yeah, there was someone that said it's a trap, wasn't there? I think so. There was also someone who said the hype, the 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 
they made a mis did, was that the mistake that I picked out that Go on. they made a mistake with the referencing because um the Millennium Falcon had a bad motivator hmm that's uh, what was it 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 was a that that is still a reference that is still a good reference but mm. It's the wrong thing to reference with that reference. I mean, they could have referenced R two D two with it when he woke up and just made a really angry noise. <laughs> but um, they should have said that the hyperdrive was leaking or something stupid. Or the amount of times that it failed to start the hyperdrive in episode <gasps> episode five. Can you remember that? <laughs> like, what was it? Five or six touch up? Five or six clicks of the hyperdrive engine and it still failed to run so they just went fuck it we'll hide and kicked it in the end i think yeah get it working oh also that thing in the middle that made no sense whatsoever the bit in the middle right in the middle where the the weird blob monsters that look like loco roco had a creepy pasta <laughs> because they just ate everything i just mm. Mm -hmm. There was so much good and so much stupid. <coughs> I like the reference to the trash compactor. Mm, yeah, that was a good one. That was probably the best one. <laughs> Although I think B... Now, opinions on droids. BB. Does BB replace R2-D2 for you? He replaces both R2-D2 and C-3PO. For me, he he replaced R two D two until R two D two came on the screen. No. And then R two D two just goes, okay, fuck off, bitch. This is my fucking spotlight. <laughs> because R two D two still has that personality. I just don't get that from BB. I I get I get a little dog from BB. Yeah, I I get the the, the from BB. I get that he's um, a droid that doesn't know what to do. Mm. He. <sighs> he's been half lost, hasn't he? Yeah. I suppose. And it's like, he, he's mm. just like, well... Now what? Yeah. I've not been told what to do. I've not got anyone to tell me what to do. So he just goes and goes, eh, whatever. Whee! But I also see him as like a, like a puppy. Yeah. He is a puppy droid. Whereas R2-D2 was more of a I'm going to kick you over the edge because I think it's funny, droid. Yeah, definitely. R2-D2 had a human sense of humour. Yeah. BB seems to not understand human Neat. interactions as much. Yeah. Well, with... I'm trying to think of what it is now. Um, well, okay, I think that the whole plot of that film could have been stopped one way. Mm hmm Yeah? You know how they, they, they say, oh, R2-D2 is in a low power mode? Yeah. And nobody's checked his backups to see if he's got a... Um, that is a good... Yeah, that is a good Why point. Why did no one check them? What's the point? Why the, f why the fuck did Luke decide to hide the pieces of this fucking map? Yeah. Luke has inadvertently destroyed the central of the New Republic. Yeah. Because he hid the bloody map. Yeah. Although, wouldn't it been it wouldn't been minorly funny, just minorly funny, if the if the map happened to be hidden on whatever planet the New Republic's on? What did it look like? That looked like a new Coruscant or something, yeah. didn't it? If that was Coruscant, and imagine if the map was hidden on Coruscant, and the New Order had just blown it out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, sir, you do realise you actually just destroyed the map. Yeah. Well, shit. No. Temper tantrum, Kylo Ren. Oh no! Then it should have been. Then it should have cut to Snoke going, Kylo. Do you know the scene from um, yes. Wrath of Khan? Yes. Where where it's <laughs> Khan. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, uh, I... mm. Into darkness. They, they could have just made so many funny references to other things that are equally as sci-fi. Well, yeah, the, the thing is that they've not checked R2-D2's backups. Why not? Well, we don't think it's going to be there. Well, why the fuck okay, not? Okay, I'm sorry, but the sort of thing that you, you do when you're looking for something 
and you, you can't everything. find it where you think it will be, you immediately go to the one place it's not going to be, and it inevitably is there. It's probably also right underneath your nose, because, you know, you're the good guys. Yeah. So, how does R2-D2 wake up? I don't know. How maybe he maybe he recognises that Ray's nearby. Yeah, maybe. Or the... Maybe he recognises that Luke's, maybe that's, it's I don't know, got an iometric lock on it. Yeah, that but then how would he have known about Ray? How would Luke have known about Ray? Well, Unless Luke's but, but, at the, but at, the, at the end of um, the movie, you see that Ray has that flashback where she gets left on Jakku, doesn't she? Yeah. Maybe Luke left her there. Yeah, maybe. And went into hiding at that point. Yeah. Because that, 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 make... that's, that's something that I've always stuck to after the film. It's like, so I think Luke is Ray's father. Oh, yeah. If, if, if it's not Ray, then who the fuck is it? Yeah. And then my second question is, who the fuck is the mother? Yeah. I mean, there was what? You you weren't exactly looking at anyone in... Or me... You weren't exactly... There weren't exactly many to choose from in the Star Wars. No. What was there? There was Leia, who's already banging Solo. Um, and the other woman that was in the um, last episode. What, like the Chenzel? Many Bothans died giving us this information. Yeah. Yeah. So, is it her? <laughs> I, know this, I know this sounds horrendously racist no. and sexist and God knows what, but I hope. that's all there was. I mean, maybe that's why Lando Calrissian is so intent on getting into everyone's trousers. Mm. Oh, good God, the realism of shitty sci-fi movies. <laughs> so, are we going to inevitably re react to this stuff? Tom, please don't die on me. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> so, um, shall we the, end the podcast here? And yeah, then we put we the separate a, episode. Yeah, if we have a cut here, then we can... Yeah. Because so, I, have, um, I know I need to get up and move, so. I am uh, Voxeltron. You can see me on Voxeltron you, YouTube.co.uk or YouTube.com slash Voxeltron because gaming. apparently I post shit on there. Voxeltron Gaming. Oh, yeah, Voxeltron you, Gaming. You Wait, Vox no, it is Voxeltron, isn't it? I swear. Give me five seconds. No, it's not Voxeltron. Shit. <laughs> It is Voxeltron Gaming. Okay, so yeah, you can see me on Voxeltron Gaming. Uh, you can also see me on Steam under Voxeltron. Eh, where else? Fuck. Twitch. Um, Twitch.tv slash Voxeltron Gaming. Yeah, if I'm ever posting something on there. I might do another 24-hour thing on there soon. There might be another one of those. Um, you've got Fim Fiction, I suppose. Shall I just give that fuck it? Yeah, go um, on. Voxeltron has not always... I'm, I'm, I'm Voxeltron everywhere. If it's Voxeltron, it's probably me. If it's not, there's something fucking wrong, and I'm not on it. But you anyway... You don't have Twitter, and you don't have Facebook. No, I don't have Twitter, and I don't have Facebook, so before anyone fucking sends me messages on that. So, Tom, where can people try and find you? Uh, on Twitter, I'm Tom Baku. If people ever want to contact me on Twitter. Um, on... I think I'm Tom Cra on Steam. Uh, I will check that now. Um, um, uh, I don't have Steam open for fuck's sake. <sighs> this I is think going that's about well. It for me that I'd want to be contacted on publicly. Mm. If you try and find my Facebook, then I will report you. <laughs> because wow, that's wow, this is going well. And um, before we ask, no, we don't have any fucking Patreons. No. If I did, I would probably be actually making a slight bit of money, but that's beside the point. Oh, you can also be found on Redbubble. Oh, yes, I can be found on Redbubble. I'm going to put out a video on that very soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, I can be found on Redbubble and Devoxeltron. Um, I've got a couple of t-shirts on there that I made in my spare time. I'm not even wearing one at the moment. Yeah, I'm Tom Crow on Steam. Right, so, yeah. 
Um, thank you very much for listening and watching what the hell this fucking was. Um, and hopefully we'll be making another one of these in the near future. So, thank you very much for listening and goodbye everyone. Bye. That was the best bye I've ever heard in my life. Ha 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 ha!